There we go. So let's let's do it. You gonna lock me on white? I'll lock you on white. Okay. Okay. So let's go. And no, that's, 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 that's fine. Oh, just keep it unlocked. Keep it unlocked. Keep it unlocked. Okay. Here we go. Right there. Yeah. Or thereabouts. Okay. So, uh, and that's between 35 and 40. I, I wasn't actually uh, ironically paying attention to these things, but that's because I'm doing a demo. Um, but uh, the neat thing about this is that there's this, this one to one mapping. So, it, on, on our prototype, the mapping might not be uh, exact just because um, you know, there was two days. But um, basically, <coughs> underneath is, is a grid. And so, you can get this tactile representation of uh, where you are in position to the data and then start exploring the rest of the. Uh, the data as well. Do you want to do trends real quick too? Yeah. Just pass so, over. so you want to do a trend one? Yeah. So, okay. so two major aspects of, of, of graph literacy are point estimation and trend analysis. And we've shown some point estimation. We'll just show a little bit of differences between this and uh, some data from the from the uh, the athletic ability that looks a lot different than this. And you hear some differences. Do you want to plug in X? Yeah, uh, just keep going. Oh, yeah, you want to just shift over. Yeah, you want to shift over to X okay. because of our trends. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, okay, so you want to switch out the mice or? Um, no, we'll just, okay. we'll just follow cool. it. Okay, so here we go. And okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the, the, the yep. zero, zero here. Okay, so now I'm going to start moving uh, right uh, along the X axis. Do, 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 do. And so, as you can see, we're getting different tones. Like, there's a low point right there in the graph. Let's keep going. Uh, you know, there was a, there was a high point followed by a, by a low. I mean, this is like a you know. And then we can so we can start getting a sense of the data. And because the pitches are mapped across octave boundaries, we can actually get a really clear differentiation between where the different points are. Um, and so. Like, there was another low, there's a high, we can keep going to the right here, and we can see some, you know, a little bit of clustering, and then, uh, you know, followed by, like, right now we're on a high note, for example, so we're on a high part of the graph. And so it's a, it's a map, it's a one-to-one -one mapping um, uh, to, to, to pitch, so you can not only tell, you can not only estimate your specific point, but you can start running it on the entire data set. And this obviously, since it's data back, the data can change dynamically every single minute through the exhibit, and the display can keep up with that. Should we uh, go to the next one? Yeah. Okay, great. Let's just do another uh, type of graph so you can hear the difference. Just pass it over real quick. You want me to zero you out? Yeah, just zero out. Okay. 